Ooh, YouTube family, we are back and we're stronger and better than ever. Um, that little fishing tall episode, two two episodes I did four, eight, five years ago. Um, those are still good. Y'all can still go like and subscribe to, on those too. But um, we are expanding now. We're expanding to the Renaissance. This is the Renaissance era with Renaissance men, Rena Renaissance women. We are um, transforming ourselves. So. Um, in case y'all don't know, a renaissance man slash woman is a man or woman who has knowledge in a lot of different areas. That's what I'm trying to create. Men and women with knowledge in a lot of different areas. That's why I call myself Renaissance Cam because I am fortunate enough to have learned knowledge in a lot of different areas. That's just me. But um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to create. That's what I'm trying to build on this channel. A lot of renaissance people. I'm not excluding ladies. Ladies, I love y'all. Um, I need y'all in this video, in this, in this era too, okay? Because there's a lot of women that only knew how to do one thing, and it's sad. It's really, really sad. Learn how to do multiple things. Save yourself a lot of money. That's another thing this this channel's about. I'm gonna get back to the Renaissance, but this channel's about saving money. We are on a budget. We are not spending a lot of money on this channel. I hate, I hate spending money on anything that's why I learned so much stuff so I don't have to keep paying people to do it for me I can teach myself I can learn myself for free so I'm, I'm very cheap so just note that duly note that so on this channel we're gonna learn a whole bunch of Ooh, I said uh, uh, my target audience for this would probably be anyone who is trying to better their self in a lot of different areas a lot of dudes I know they only know how to do one thing and it's pretty sad and the main concept of this is to get rid of the I can't just throw that throw that out the window the I can't um, no we we're, we're, we're people of I don't know how but I want to figure it out or I want to learn it we're not the I can't type anymore you motherfuckers make me sick y'all need to learn to do more than one thing Y'all be wondering why these women be leaving y'all and y'all have nothing to bring to the table but one thing. Like, come on. Brain, your brain can store unlimited amounts of information. Use that and just thrive off of that. I mean, you can live, You, your money is here. Everything you need to make money is in here. Like, what are you doing? Just. Do it! Stop being lazy as hell. Like it's, uh. Learn all you can while you can. I'm telling you, there's gonna come a time where you're not gonna wake up again. Learn, learn, and use that your knowledge to give to someone else, so they can learn and keep learning, and just influence people to learn. I'm, I'm tired of. People saying I can't, I can't is the worst excuse you can bring up because it's, it's literally just submission. Like, at least try to say I can. Like, if you can't after trying, then you can't. But if you say I can't and you never try to do something or I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that food on the plate, what is that? I don't like that. You've never tried it, so how the f*** do you know how it tastes or how it, how it feels or how it uh, anyway, um, all those people who only know how to do one thing, um, it, it's okay. It's okay if you if you want to learn, then this channel is for you. But if you don't want to learn, this channel's not even close to being for you. Um, on the cooking videos, I'm going to definitely take y'all with me to the store. So I'm showing y'all that we're we're making these fancy meals on a budget. We're balling on a budget. We're making, we're going to make it all. We're going to make lobster, filet mignon, ribeye steaks, um, what else? Pastas, all types of pastas, um, breakfast, whatever y'all want, eggs, Benedict. Y'all leave a comment in the comment section and I will make it. We'll make it. We'll, we will make it. I'm, I'm here to cater to y'all's needs to teach y'all. I don't, I don't really know what I am the best at out of painting, um, cooking, barbering. Um, what else we have? Fishing. I don't. I don't. I don't really know what I'm the best at. 
Um, but it, it's I, I've definitely put my work in in a lot of different areas. So my work has been evenly distributed through throughout these areas, and it, it's paid off. It's really paid off. Like I get a lot of of, of great feedback on my paintings, a lot of um, inquiries to purchase my artwork. But um, I've, j I've just been in school. I've been in school so much, and it's been it's been difficult to really branch out and, and actually market my artwork and I, I started a website for it and everything and, but I couldn't I couldn't keep up with it so I had to shut it down for a little bit but um yeah. all right my renaissance people so we're getting right to it we not wasting no time we on the gas all 2019 and beyond um we're gonna kick this first video off with a dope um fade tutorial um, I did this fade on one of my close teammates. Um, he agreed to let me do it, and that was real generous of him, and I appreciate it. But in this video, y'all are really gonna have to excuse me for my poor um, camera angles because a it's my first time, but um, I got some good clips. I, I feel like I got some good clips, and um, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. All right, y'all. So to kick this cut off, as you can see, my client is not in the best shape or form as far as haircuts so um, he's looking pretty terrible if you ask me but uh first off i'm gonna start off getting my comb and just combing some of these hairs down so i can smoothen out my surface to work with Now that I got that hair nice and combed down, I'm just going in with my slimline pro allies that I modified myself. I'll show y'all a little glimpse of them a little later, but these clippers hit pretty well. Um, as you can see, I don't get much privacy around here. That's my teammate as well, Matt Lewis. He's a very good basketball player, so be on the lookout for him. Um, back to this cut, no, I'm just making that first initial guideline. I'm just smoothing out that surface, keeping the C cup um, in his hair so I can when I go to make that line up I can have a nice C connecting into that beard um, on the back I'm also making the same sort of guideline just kind of rounding it out so when I go into my fade I'll have a starting place and these are my clippers right here these are the slimline pro allies that I ordered and modified myself um they're very sharp um i wouldn't recommend using these clippers exact on any children or anything because they do pack a punch once i finish making my three guidelines with my slimline pro allies I switch over to my Oster Fast Feeds and open that lever all the way up. Um, I really love these clippers. They have a nice quiet motor and they pack a punch as well. So um, I'm just gonna make another guideline. I'm going about an inch up on each of the three sides and we're doing the same thing. We're keeping it consistent all the way around. So once we finish making these three guidelines going all the way around the head, again, with the um, lever open, we're gonna close that lever about halfway and we're gonna flick out that line, that, that bottom line, just, just a little bit, we're just softening it up really. Um, as you can see, I'm just flicking at it, but I'm not coming all the way up to the second guideline that I made. I'm just staying right in that middle ram of it and just fading downward i'm coming down with the clipper so the farther i go down the more hair i'm taking off so i close that lever a little bit and i'm just flicking up 
looking up. And I'm gonna do that same thing all the way around. So once I make it all the way around the head with my guard halfway open, I'm going to um, close that guard. I'm gonna close that guard all the way and I'm gonna flick out between the halfway open and the harsh guideline I made with the slimline pro allies. And that's gonna take out that harsh guideline and make a much smoother transition to the fade. So as you can see now, the fade starting to come together at the bottom. And um, what I like to do is if I see some spots that I missed, I'll come back in and do a little bit of lever play, just opening and close that lever, knocking out any unwanted areas that I might not want on the fade. And then that'll kind of get me back on the right track. Uh, so now I got the bottom of this fade how I want it. Um, I'm gonna slap on my number two guard and I'm just gonna take out some of this bulk at the top that I see. So I'm gonna put that put that guard on and I'm gonna close the lever all the way. Close it all the way. I'm just gonna start um, slowly digging in, just taking off the immediate bulk that I see. Um, I would usually take off this bulk with a number one guard and just open the lever, but I'd rather take off a little bit of hair at a time so I don't have to go back and add hair. I'm just kidding, you can't add hair, so make sure you take off a little bit at a time so you limit your mistakes. So once I finish off taking that bulk off with the number two guard, I'm going to put on my number one guard and I'm going to open that lever all the way, open it all the way and I'm just going to clean up the bulk that I missed with that number two guard. And I'm just going straight up to his man bun up the top of it. Once I've gotten the bulk out with that one guard open, I'm gonna slap on my zero guard, I'm gonna close that lever all the way, and I'm gonna attack that middle line. Just note that when I use this zero guard, I'm not digging in, I'm not creating another guideline, I'm just taking out, I'm flicking out that, that middle guideline that I made really gently. I'm, I'm not digging in, I'm using a flick out wrist motion and I'm just sort of knocking that line out so, it's, so it blends in better with the fade. I'm not digging in by any means. the grain with make sure you go with the grain if you go against the grain you will patch him do not go against the grain um, this just ensures that I have a nice um, flat surface when I um, go to line my client up so yeah just just make sure you're going with the grain so now I brush the hair down I brush the hair down as you can see the fade is 
on point. Now it's just time for a lineup. So I go in with my Slimline Pro Allies and I slowly but surely just start tapping at that line, just not pushing him back or anything, just keeping it look as natural as possible and just tapping at that line and moving around the head slowly but surely. Um, when doing lineups, um, there's no really textbook way of going by it. Um, me personally, I just visualize how I want the lineup to look and just go by eye. Uh, I know some barbers they start, they like they they initially start with the, the side bars and then do the side bars and just work their way over the top of the head. But um, yeah, I just I, I literally visualize what I like. And then if I if I see some spots that need to be corrected, I go back and correct them. But other than that, I don't really go by the book. going into the beard um, to start this beard he, he really doesn't want his beard the bulk of his beard to be um, taken away so I'm just fading the top parts of it so I'm gonna go in with my zero guard and I'm gonna open that lever all the way and just climb the ladder I'm gonna climb the ladder and um, the higher I get on the beard the more hair I'm gonna take off so we're just gonna start at the zero guard open and then go to the zero guard close take that guard off go to the guard all the way open then we're going to take the guard all the way closed and then we're going to do the same with both sides another thing to note um just so y'all know i'm not a barber i am not a barber this is not a profession of mine it's just something i know how to do i know how to cut hair but i'm not a barber and trust me there's a difference people think that i I'm supposed to cut their hair because it's my job. It's not my job. It's just something I know how to do. That's the difference. So now it's time to kick this line up to another notch. So the things you'll need would be a some type of um, vessel to put your mixture in and you're gonna need a Just For Men um, application brush. Um, the dye I'm using for this enhancement is called Kiss Expressions. It's a, it's a um, semi-permanent hair color and I'm using the black one. It's a K96, I believe. You're also gonna need some rubbing alcohol or water, but I, I use rubbing alcohol because it's a lot more sanitary than water. Um, so now I'm just gonna add a, just a little bit of Kiss Expressions to my juice top and just a little bit of alcohol. And this is just gonna dilute it just a little bit so it's a much thinner um, mixture. I'm um, just give it a nice mix until it's about, um, I guess that consistency right there. And we're just going right into it. I'm just tapping at that line just just tapping right in that line up area where his um, line ends at. And then I'm gonna take my hairbrush and I'm just gonna brush it in. And as you see, I, as I brush it in, it looks more and more natural. And um, just, just go all the way around the entire um, hairline and just brush it in. I'm brushing it in to the point where it looks the most natural. That's how much I'm adding. I'm not adding it until it looks like it's just painted on. I want it to still look like hair. I want it to still look like I'm lining up hair. I don't want it to look like I'm lining up paint. So we're just adding just a little bit and then brushing it in so it has that natural appeal to it.
once I finish lining up enough kiss expressions to make it look natural, I come in with my straight razor and I'm just bringing the contents and the hair back to a straight line. I like to do one side at a time um, with the, the kiss expressions because I, I don't like it to set in and dry because it, it's harder to move when you let it dry. So this the good thing about this is that it sort of stains the skin. So that, um, that crispy lineup look that you want ends up lasting for a good week or so. So um, I, I, don't, I don't like letting it dry um, as I apply it to the entire head. I do half the head and then I do the other half, so it doesn't have time to dry out. As soon as, as soon as I lay it down, I get to go on my straight razor and I just line it up so it moves, and then once it moves to the spot I want it, then it's good to let dry. So we're gonna take the kiss expressions mixture and we're gonna do it we're gonna do the same exact thing to the other side of the head. So as y'all can see, I'm bodying this lineup right now, and my, my client, he can't stop looking at himself in the cameras, just like a, bit, a small mirror, and um, it's, it's kind of pissing me off, but at the same time, I, I know how it feels to, 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 to be brought back into the game, so yeah, it's all good, Pink. YouTube so you can see this is the cut final product um 
as you can see i brought my man from doing crack to selling crack i mean it's a complete rehabilitation transformation we got over here um at the end i kind of hit him with that barber pencil a little bit just to um just to enhance that lineup make it pop out a little bit more but um yeah um, so uh yeah um y'all let me know exactly how y'all feel about this cut in the comment section and um i appreciate y'all for watching this long video i know it was long um i promise the next video won't be this long i just had to throw my introduction in there and stuff but uh yeah like and subscribe and um give me a follow on instagram too um it's the same as this channel renaissance cam yeah just give me a follow on instagram show me some love on there and uh we'll see y'all soon thanks